Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at multiple Ninja Move Barbies. And uh, we have like some, like we have four girls that have from three different lines. They all came from Target, same day we went today. And at the time of this video, we're actually doing the video the day that we got them. Um, that's for once. Anyway, <laughs> this first girl, I believe, is from the newest one. The newest line that just came out from Made to Move Barbies. There, I think there's four. So there is four from this set. This was the one we were able to find. I think that we probably might get more in the future. And if we do, we'll show them off to you guys. And then we have this girl over here who's been, I think, on the shelf for a while. But she was still at our Target. This was the Made to Move basketball player. They still had the soccer one, but she was kind of samey with that one. Yeah, they're a face. I mean, she was a little different, but they were pretty similar. So I just got the one whose hair I liked better. Yeah, this one was my doing. It was a soccer one that you had? Or they had. Because yeah. there's a soccer one they show in the back here different that is... is one, uh, oh, okay. That It was not that soccer one. Yeah. It was a dark-haired soccer one. Looked just like her, just with a soccer <laughs> ball. Okay. Yeah, it looked just like her. Um, just different color eyes. But yeah, there's um a, other... We, we kind of want to see if we can find that hip-hop one. Yeah, that. I wouldn't mind having her. She looks cool. So... I feel like they did the Made to Move ones with the uh, Be All You Can Be Career ones, like where they were like you technically... You couldn't have had made a basketball player with no Made to Move body. They gotta be able to move. So... It seemed like there was a bunch of athletes that they that were involved in that, though. I don't know. Yeah, it was all athletics. Mm. No, the be whatever you want to be line; those weren't even articulated. So maybe it was just maybe it was just um, Barbie B B you can be made yeah. to move style. Yeah, so they had just a few of them for that, but they all were probably an off strain or or yeah. spinoff from the the be all you can be, yeah. or be anything. Wait, you can be anything. That's what it was. The yeah, slogan. that's what it was. Um, and this is the other made to move bar Barbie, and I think. That this was from the, same little, uh, from the last wave or something. I, I don't know, but these ones are dated nine uh, two thousand seventeen. Yeah. So uh, these have probably been on the on the uh, shelf for a while too. Maybe I don't know, yeah. but there are also four girls from this series, and we do have two of them. So we got the blonde girl, and then we got the redhead. Well, sort of redhead, strawberry blonde. And I think this was the first. The redhead was one of the first appearances for the made to move curvy body. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me below. Um, cause I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't pretend to be any kind of Barbie, authority, Barbie uh, information or Barbie wiki. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. We're not Barbie authorities. We just like but, what we like and get what we like. But this does bring us into dangerous territories because it, I, I, does. it, it, it brings us back into small. another sublime, sublime, sunlight, subline. Another off strain of Barbie, because I'm not <laughs> telling everybody that I'm only sticking to the fashionistas. Well, the maid of moves are kind of my fault, so Carrie gets a pass no, on that one. The maid of moves were actually the fashionistas' fault, because oh, yeah, when because we got the, the wheelchair. wheelchair ones, and yeah. we saw and, he, and we were able to see how re really cool in person the maid of move Barbies were, Yeah, we had to kind of look, yeah. look uh, to see what the other maid of move ones there were. Yeah. And, uh... So, okay. So, yeah. So we're going to do a fashion party. So we're going to take all these girls, get them out of their boxes. Do a fashion We show. have a bunch of new fashions that we also picked up with these girls. Yeah, basically it's like a Barbie haul video. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so we'll just they're, we're gonna see what we can do with them. Um, we'll be back. We have a lot of, uh, we're going to take them out of their packaging. You don't want to watch any of that. Yeah, we're so. not going to do all the grindy stuff. Yeah, you don't want to watch all that. We'll, we'll come back and we'll show you what we, uh, we'll show you the fashions before we put them on the girls. Okay, so we're in the middle of oh, the static is bad. we're in the middle of putting uh, changing them to new outfits, but I'm just want to show you. I don't know if anyone is watching this video is familiar with the Made to Move Barbies because I'm really not, but I'm getting there. But the head so it was like this. Ooh, I like this one's face. I'm not familiar with this one's face either way. Uh, there's a shoulder that go like this, and they swivel. And then the arms should be double jointed and go to the head, but we we're having a problem with one of ours right now. Oh. Trying to get her, we're trying to get her dressed, but this part right here is not clicking over like that. Um, I don't know how I feel about these shorts anyway. 
Oh my gosh, they're not shorts. This is, is this one piece? No, I thought it was one piece. I was like, well, I, I guess the figures. But no, I... I wish, I think all of the Barbie lines should be made to move. Except for the swim ones. You can excuse those. Because you don't really want to get made to move bodies wet, probably. But... So we'll be back. We're, we're I don't know if I'm going to be showing... We're, we're not going to show you the fashion packs before they go on the, their dolls. We're just going to show you the dolls with them on. Because we're already in the process. So we'll be right back. So as we're still in the background trying to figure out why the, the joints won't work on one of our made to moves, here is uh, one of the our blonde Barbie made to move. Uh, he got, he got we got her all posed here like she's going ice skating, and uh, apparently she won the silver trophy. Ours is a little wilted though. Comment below if you got a, if your trophy is wilted like this because we're not sure if we did it or if it came in the box and I didn't notice. But I, I think this was one of the, um, this outfit was in a bag, right? Was it in a bag? Yeah. Yeah, this was one of the uh, Be All You Can Be uh, outfits, so it's probably not the uh, most expensive outfit out of all of them. I think it was probably like a $4 outfit or a $3 outfit. But this is one, oh, this is two pieces. So it's, a, it's she has a, the leotard, leotard? Hmm. Leotard? It's called leotard. Leotard. Unitard? What's a leotard then? Hmm? Is it really a le is it, am I to make that word up maybe? No, a leotard's a thing. Well, what's the difference between a leotard and a unitard? That's a unitard. A leotard's a leotard. What's Lee about it though? <laughs> leotard's the one that also has like the pants part. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow. It does have sparkles all over it and it looks like we have flowers and little dots and Shadow feeding and all that other stuff going on there. And this part right here, the little, like... I guess it's supposed to be like a tutu or something. I don't know, just an overskirt. That's in tulle and it's pink. But she did one uh, wilting trophy. And there are her ice skates. Which I was just saying off camera that I wish that they gave it a little bit of silver detail on the blades. But, I mean, I guess what do you want for the price range that, that this is? So, that's her as ice skating Barbie. All right, so we have we uh we ended up getting the uh the Kirby girls outfit elbows fixed, um well, behind the scenes Eli did that, <laughs> so she's fixed here. Um, this dress is part. This is a a plaid yellow dress that was part of a two pack outfit set that we got at um Target. Uh, or Walmart one. We've hit both recently. Well, I can't remember if we what, did. We did we not pick this outfit up today? Uh, I don't remember. Oh well, it it did come with a pair of um shoes that we're gonna show in. Uh, oh yeah, in, we did pick this one up today. Yeah, this was part of the Target. Hall. Yeah, so this is part of Target. Yeah. Uh, it did come with a, a different pair of shoes, except for the shoes are gonna be going with a different outfit that came with it. I think we're. I don't know. Are we showing that one next? Yep. Uh, yes, that one will be next. But so we just took some shoes that we already had in my. My grand old closet. My Barbie Ultimate... What the heck is it called? It's Fashionista. Barbie Fashionista walk-in closet, deluxe walk-in closet or something like that. Something. But yeah, so I had a couple pairs of these. I didn't realize now, like I said, I'm not familiar with Made to Move Barbies anyway. I mean, I am, but I'm not like... I, I haven't really collected them. Um, but I didn't realize how hard it is to uh, shoe them. Because these ones came with no shoes because they were the yoga ones. So we put, uh, we tried a lot of shoes on before we could get a pair that fit her. So de they definitely don't go with this dress, but at least she has shoes, right? <laughs> I don't. Did this come with accessories to go with this dress too? Uh, it came, not with that dress, no. Oh, that okay. dress was like, it's like a bonus dress. ranger in the middle of the pack. It's like a bonus dress, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll show you the other outfit in a little bit here. <laughs> you know. I'm out of order with stuff because I'm not usually showing them before I put them in there but I wanted to show that this was like a violin package and I'm pretty excited about this violin for some reason oh, boots on so here's this outfit is that, that the outfit that came with that other outfit that's in the pack it did come with this cool flower purse that I love that they took the time to paint the, gr the leaves green and give it a little bit more detail 
So that's a hand purse. And then a wrist purse? Hair purse? Wrist purse. I don't know. And then there's this weird shirt that we can't quite figure out. We can't figure out if the shirt's meant for, like, the shorter type Barbies. Because it, it, it fits her, but it looks short for some reason. Or wrongly setting. But it just might be the way it is. Because um, both of us are kind of not really in the fashion scene right now. But, um, so it does look cool. But then you have this skirt that's a little bit loose. I think it's made for more of the uh, curvy body. And these shoes, do they look familiar? I thought they looked familiar to you. <laughs> These are the exact same color and style that came with the tall, um, uh, one of the tall bodied fashionistas that came a couple of waves ago. She has like the, she's the, um, got all the like the little tiny little micro braids. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. If not, look back, look back at one of my videos. I did a review on her. I can't remember which fashionista number she was, but, but yeah, that, that, there's that outfit. It's probably not going to stay on her, but we thought we would show you off, off, show it off to you and the uh, yeah. made to move body. Yep. It might actually look different on ones that aren't made to move. Yeah, we'll end up trying her trying it on different stuff and see what happens. But that's what we have. Yeah. We'll be back with another one. So here's the problem with this outfit. I really, really like this dress and I think it looks really great on this on this made to move Barbie. Uh but she really doesn't know how to play the violin. She just wants to pretend that she knows how to play the violin. That's how I, I've decided what I've decided. Because the, it, the violin itself doesn't actually the way the way she the way they intend for her to hold it doesn't doesn't work, doesn't work with the way the violin's intended to be held. It so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we but, can't make it work. Maybe we're just being dumb, but we can't make it work. We'll just leave it at that. Like she can carry it around and look cool with it. But uh, either I mean, either way, it was a nice try on their behalf. At least this violin came with a bow. Uh, unlike the violin that came with uh, one of my hair adorables the the other day that I, back a, back in a few months ago that I opened up and I was like, but where's the bow? How could you play the violin without the bow? I don't know. And then I just put added these shoes because this dress didn't come with shoes, and all these shoes really just do is make her feet look even more tinier for her body. But um, they do fit her, and uh, that's that outfit. So here's another two-pack outfit that we found at Target. I don't know if these two-pack... I don't know if there's exclusives to, like, certain stores. But this is the first time I came across this. I'm excited to try out this tie-dye sweatsuit. I'm going to put it with the hat, I think. Okay, so tell me tell me, she does not look super comfortable in this outfit. This tie-dye outfit is so cute. I didn't realize it was going to be a midriff outfit. But it fits her sleeves really, really good. So I know that it, that's probably the way it's supposed to set. You could probably get away with putting this whole outfit in any any um I really like this tie dye and I like this hat to go with it because she needs to wear a hat because it's there's a lot of static electricity in this room. The only thing about these shoes is they are for Mungo feet. So her feet are too tiny for these. I think these would be good for a curvy body. But I'm just saying. Or if she had socks, those would be good too, right? But we're I'm gonna just kinda try this outfit on and then we're gonna go to another another set. So this outfit's super cute too. It's just a dress. Uh, doesn't really didn't really have any accessories to go with it. I guess you could put the hat with it, but I'm not going to with this girl because I don't want to wreck her hair. Um, and I just put these shoes to match. They don't really match too well, but can't really show off an outfit without without shoes, right? I mean, it's already sacrilege that it has no purse. Actually, this is probably all like a whole chill outfit pack. You know what, these packs probably have names to them that we don't know about because we didn't do research before we did this. Because we're professionals. Yeah. But this is a cute dress, I think. It would look good in my in one of my AliExpress girls. But it is fun to actually put Barbie stuff on Barbies, right? <laughs> I suppose. There's a concept. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next outfit. So I was really excited for this next outfit. Now that I'm seeing it on one of the girls, I'm not sure how I feel about it. These pants aren't cheap. They're just like a different material, I think. They're a different type of material, like a like a swoosh material. Um, that's kind of what sold me was the belt. But, uh, hmm. You know what I would do? Okay. 
I know you dressed her and everything, but I wanted to see. I, th- I feel like she, it would look better with the shirt tucked in. I think I'm right. Okay. I think it looks better with the shirt tucked in. Did it come? Did it come with these shoes too, or did you put these shoes on? Uh, those were the shoes she came with originally as a basketball. Oh, okay. So this didn't come with shoes. No. Okay, but it did say it does say paradise, with two different types of shadows on it uh, on the uh, pink shirt. The paradise was hidden on the on the regular pack, so I didn't know what it was gonna say. And then you have this cool belt here that has a little bit of detail work on it. It reminds me of the old chain wallets. Except for it's not, it's just a chain. There's no wallet there, I don't think. And, yeah, so that's that outfit. But wait, I just have to tell you guys, I really do like this outfit. This was my pick that I picked, and I, I do love it. And I think I like made to move Barbies. They're so cute. So, behind the scenes, Eli went to go get us something to drink. But while he's getting us something to drink, I thought I would show you off this outfit. Uh, this oh, this came as a single pack. And I think this might be one this, that we that, that I got at... Uh, I think I got this outfit at Walmart. And this one comes with a clutch purse. He ever so kindly reminded me that that's what they're called, this clutch purse. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But it's a pineapple, and you can see that it's yellow, and they put a little bit of teal detail for the for the um, leaves on the top. I actually really, really like this outfit on her. Uh-huh. I like this outfit in general. I do. Of course, if I didn't like it, we wouldn't have it, because there's lots of Barbie outfits out there that we passed on that we just were like that. So, and um, it looks really good with these sandals, too. Where'd you, did you find these ones to put on her? Or they came, that with, came it? with it. That's okay. all part of the pack. So the, uh, the these so these orange uh, um, short gladiator sandals came with it, and then this cute dre- and this is uh, this is a nice I like this one. Nice got. sundress. This whole elf, I, this whole outfit is really cute. Little pineapple's clutch is cute. I like it. <coughs> the verdict is in. I like it. Yeah. This is right up there with that sweatsuit that I just tried on that I liked really, but really a lot. Oh, okay. So. So I just wanted to show this in package. This is uh, one of the ones that's from the Roxy line. We have a few of those that are going to be creeping in here on this video too. Okay, guys, I actually, I absolutely love this hat and I love this top on her, but I don't. I feel like they made a really nice shirt and a really nice top, and then you, they threw you in these. I don't not so nice shorts. Maybe they would be better to me if they fit her. They're more, they, they definitely cater towards the curvy body with the shorts, but, and I, I don't really feel like the shorts fit this outfit really well. I think they would have done better if they just made these plain white or plain blue or something. I don't know. I ended up putting these gladiator gold sandals on her to go with it. Um, it is sort of a beach outfit, so she might be going to the beach and not wearing shoes, but I really love this hat, guys. I love that it's not um, plastic, that it's actual fabric hat. That's not something you see every day, I think. But other than that, um, she has that little a scrungy type bracelet on. It's dark pink. And, yeah. That's that Roxy outfit. I forgot to show you guys this before I took it out. This is another one of the Roxy outfits. that We actually just got this one today, and this one was at Target. So our next outfit that outfits that we wanted to show were was a two pack I guess what people want to call date pack um, Barbie and Ken outfits uh, they're brand new as well for 2021 uh, we brought we, we brought in a little bit of a um, guest appearance by made to move real cheer Ken he is just in here to check ch- I actually really like this outfit you said you weren't sure about the shirt. I'm on the fence. I love it. Well, not so much on the fence. I'm more settled on a take it or leave it position. I love it. He looks like uh, tropical, almost like like he's in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Or a Hawaiian tourist. Yeah, which I'm sure is... It's like a peachy... And the shorts are definitely swim shorts. They have that that swim short material. And I like his... I like the sandals. I'm not a... I'm not a sandal guy. Oh, it says Ken on the bottom. Okay... And then here is the um, other swimsuit outfit that came with 
him. Same pack. Same pack. Um, I think the uh, the swimsuit looks really good on our Made to Move girl here. With this little pineapple purse here. But we discovered that this skirt, or this the sarong, yeah, sarong, doesn't fit her curvy body. It's nope. more for the tall body or yep. like the basic body. Yep. I don't know. I've been finding that... The swimsuit fits her fine, but that wrap skirt does not fit her worth a darn. I wonder if the swimsuit will fit a regular Barbie, too. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be the opposite effect. Probably. But, um, yeah. So that's that. Those are those outfits. I think they, they go really good together, I think. Uh-huh. So they did a good job matching. And she's not wearing any shoes, because, you know, she's going it, swimming. And it so. didn't come with any. Yeah, and she's going swimming, so it doesn't matter. And here's that Roxy outfit that I just showed before the last outfits. Um, she doesn't come with a skirt or anything. We were just discussing that this this outfit sort of looks like something you'd wear surfing or something or or boogie boarding because it has the uh, it's like a swimsuit but it has the sleeves. She's not gonna get a sunburn on her shoulders. And then she has this cool tote bag here that's a transparent pink. Has sunglasses printed on there. I guess suggests that's what you put in there. But I don't think she came with sunglasses unless I just put them somewhere. Oops. I don't think so, no. But she did come with these um, flip-flops that are weird. They don't have a little toe thing there, but they can't because of how her feet are. But So that is that look. I think this looks... I think this is like the perfect outfit for her if we wanted to put them all in beach gear. It just really matches this girl for some reason. All right. So here's another outfit that we picked up for Ken. We're using him as a model right now. Uh, I think the top is kind of weird how it doesn't have any Velcro or any buttons or snaps or anything. I guess it's just meant to show off his manly chest. And it does say number five on it. <laughs> and then uh, the pants are, are almost like sweatpants that have been cut off. Like cut off sweatpants. Because it doesn't really have any... It's a raw edge down here. And the material um, just reminds me of sweatpants. Remember in your last little clip you were talking something about sunglasses? Oh yeah, they go with this. They go with the outfit he's wearing right now. Okay. Right. There you go. So we'll put him on and make him look cool. Actually, I like those sunglasses because at least he comes with he comes with sunglasses originally, if you guys remember my video. But they were like all gold. And they and they covered his eyes up, and he was wearing them. I think, in the box, they just want, didn't want to let us know that it was the same exact head mold from that nah. one. same Ken head mold. But yep, that's all for that outfit. Okay, so here's another Roxy outfit. We forgot to show you the uh, package before we, but but trust us, it's Roxy. Good. Just take our word for it, dang it. But I think we actually found a really really good outfit for this girl. I mean, they all kind of do the outfits pretty just, pretty good justice, but these ones have Roxy high top white shoes, and they have that little Roxy symbol there. If you guys can see that. Eh. There it is. Right there on the top there. And I don't know. This is probably just cotton, but I like the design of this fabric. And then she has a little spiky bracelet. For some reason, we were just saying, we think this should have came with a purse or something. It feels like it needs a purse. But either way, that's that outfit. Stay tuned, Oops. guys. We have we have uh, Elijah behind the scenes. Elijah working, ah, on, working on our grand finale. The, 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 the grand outfit... Finale. Well, the outfits... that the, the outfit pack that we have, it's a double pack, is one that we both agreed was, was actually a really cool outfit. So. Yep, saved it for last. But I'm trying to figure out which side was meant for the curvy body, which side was meant for tall body, what was meant for what. I don't even know. I'm trying to figure it out, and stuff and things are happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, now I have to see if all this stuff is going to fit in my closet. Yeah, nope. The biggest problem I'm having, now comment below if anyone uh, is that's watching this knows. Is there somewhere that we can buy just the hangers, like just the black hangers? Oh, yeah, I hope so. That'd be awesome. It, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should go to, like, eBay or something like that and see if someone's just selling the hangers. Because I want hangers. I need hangers. That's that be good. I need hangers, and then I can hang more stuff there. in here. All right. I 
like that, they're out there. But anyway, we're right back. Yep. So apparently we are opening up these packs here that I didn't know we were opening up. But it's um, that one. But this one uh, it matches. Oh, okay. I'll, I might as well open up the other one too while you're while you're. We don't have anything to match carnival. Oh. Well, we'll leave the carnival for later. But we do. I did pick up two accessory packs, but they were on clearance for a dollar forty, so I, I couldn't say no. But I guess apparently this one's going to be useful because we're doing beachy theme type things. So not on purpose. It just happened that way. I'll just show you everything that come in here. By the way, just like this, and you can use what you want now. Okay, so here is the first girl in the first outfit. Uh, the visor, did that come with it? The green visor came with the accessory pack. That we just showed. The blue bracelet on her arm came with the accessory pack that we just showed. Um, and that Sunday Funday bag came with the accessory pack. And so did the puppy. Right, the puppy and the... And the puppy. The cell phone came with this? Oh, and the cell phone came with the accessory pack. Oh, okay. So we had, we're had we all accessory packed out. Yeah. The only thing that came with was that mm. skirt and shirt on her, and then the watermelon dress, watermelon purse, and headband on the other girl that you're going to show in a minute. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. all those accessories came with the accessory pack. But we're a little bit annoyed about the effect. The accessory pack annoyed us a little bit, and it's, it's a funny thing to be annoyed about, I guess, but I don't care. The, the sunblock... They can't hold it, and the purses don't have any openings to put it in. So, so pfft, that. But other than that, I really, really, really like this outfit. Oh, and they didn't come with shoes. Neither one of them did. Uh, yeah, no. So these are just shoes that she's wearing from. Just Actually, stuff. I think these ones came with the sweat that that sweatsuit. Oh the, uh, yeah, the, the uh, tie dye one. Yeah. Because that one looked awesome on that girl, but they didn't fit in the shoes. And I yeah. said these are going to be for the curvy body, and these fit her perfect. She's probably gonna end up with these shoes for. I mean, even if the, even if she doesn't end up with this outfit, which I think she should, it really is cute. <laughs> um, then she should, these shoes are definitely hers. Um, let's see, and this is the other outfit. Yep, came with the same. Section super pack. super cute, melon watermelon outfit. Yep, and that princess purse leaves. and that headband did come with that pack, by the way. Yeah, and this is um, so didn't the um necklace. Uh no, the oh, the necklace ne came with the accessory. Necklace pack. came with the accessory pack. Yep. And the purse did come with this. Yep. What could you? And the, obviously the shoes didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, the shoes didn't. Yeah, I guess that's basically all we have for this video. It was um, super long. Yeah, no, that that's it. It was super long, but Sorry. um, <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun checking out some of the outfits that we picked out, and hopefully you guys can pick and choose from what, how they look on the girls. We hopefully we helped you guys out. Hashtag Barbie fashion party for the win. <laughs> we will, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.